Uh, you go tomorrow against the Sioux Falls team. You've pitched against them before. What's uh, what's the plan? Uh, you know, just just similar to what I've been doing before. You know, filling up the strike zone, uh, attacking the strike zone early in the count. Uh, you know, they have some pretty dangerous hitters at the three four holes uh, that that can take the ball deep, definitely. So, uh, you know, you want to try try and get ahead of those guys and expand the strike zone as much as you can. Um, what do you do on the day before and the day of to prepare for your start? Uh, day before, uh, I just we chart the hitters from the dugout. We get to learn. Uh, some hitters from the side angles and whatnot. See, see what their their bat angle or bat path through the strike zone is, um, and then day of. Uh, to be honest with you, it's you know just getting mentally prepared for the game. Uh, you know what you physically have to do. Uh, so I usually get out here about 35, 40 minutes before the game, start my stretch routine, go through my long toss, throw my pregame bullpen, and then uh, it's no more mental than it's just physical. Uh, you don't want to think too much as a pitcher. You took that line drive off your thigh. How are you doing? Uh, it's a little bruised. Uh, still got the seams on it uh, from the line drive. So he hit it pretty good. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing him tomorrow. And not, not necessarily retaliation, but, you know, hopefully I can get him out a couple times, uh, even though I was able to get him out on that line drive. But, you know, it'll feel good to, uh, to strike him out for sure. Uh, so there's no plans to throw it in his ear hole? No, no, definitely not. You know, you never want to – you don't want to – he didn't mean to hit that ball. I just – I made a bad pitch, left it over the middle of the plate, and he did what he's supposed to do with it. Unfortunately, my body got in the way instead of the glove. Uh, let's talk about what's real. Dolphins this weekend. Yeah, Dolphins this weekend. You know, we got a, another preseason game coming up. I think Ryan Tannehill is going to play quite a bit of, uh, of the series this, this week uh, coming up. So, you know, it's, it's going to be the biggest test for them so far this preseason, see what the offense and defense can do combined. Um, hopefully we can put it all together. And, you know, going into the last two weeks of preseason, just trying to get, keep the guys healthy and start the season out with the Patriots at home. Hopefully we can pull that one out. Uh, there's, a, there's a real feeling that the Dolphins have an opportunity in the East this year. Would you agree with that? Um, as a true Dolphin fan, I would hate to say it, but I, I don't think so. Um, I think with the suspensions and the injuries that we've had so far, the two four-game suspensions to start the year, and Pouncey being out probably the first eight to ten weeks of the season uh, from our offensive line, and starting five new offensive linemen for the first eight weeks to block for Ryan Tannehill, it's going to be tough learning a new offensive system under Bill Lazor. Uh, offensive coordinator from the Eagles that we just got. It's going to be tough. Uh, our running game isn't where it needs to be. Um, even though we, you know, Lamar Miller's coming back from a decent year last year, I, if they go eight and eight, I'll be happy. Um, and I don't think eight and eight is going to do it in the East or even, or even a, a wild card berth. If I had said that uh, you didn't think that the Dolphins were a very good football team this year, you'd have bitten my head off. So I'm, I'm glad you answered it the way you did. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I like to be honest as much as possible, especially when it comes to my Dolphins, because I've. Uh, Taking a lot of heartbreak in the past, you know, I expected a lot of big things out of Marino, and during my era, he never, uh, never came through with a championship. That's for sure. But, you know, but you did learn to throw football like Marino. I, I, I did. Uh, I, I did. I gotta, I gotta contribute that to, to what I saw on the TV from, from Dan the Man. But, and it, you know, it's quite interesting is that we have a, a young fellow who works here by the name of Dan Marino. Um, and so I, I asked him, I was like, your dad has to be a huge fan. And he said he absolutely is, and that's why he was named Dan Marino. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.